Now you may be wondering, what exactly is a new mail user? Well, it's very similar to a new mail contact in that you have an individual that you don't want to create a mailbox for on the exchange server, but you want them to appear in the global address list. So by creating a new mail contact, what you're basically doing is creating an object in Active Directory that does not allow for login permissions, but does allow individuals in your organization to see them in the global address list and email them. That email will be sent to an external email account. A new mail user is a little bit different in that it does have access to log on to the network and can access resources if you give them permissions. So if we click new mail user, here it says create a mail user for new user or existing user. And basically what we're doing is we're creating a user account. We're simply linking that user account to an external email address. So it could be that someone in Active Directory, they already exist, you can select existing user, but they don't require a mailbox in your organization. And that's probably because they don't work in the office. So they would rather have their email sent directly to their external account. So we can do that. We click new user, we click next. And here you can easily see the difference between a mail contact and a mail enabled user. A new mail user receives a user logon and a password. So we'll call them new mail user. That will be their logon name. And we click next. Now normally when we're creating a mailbox, we have to determine where we're going to put the mailbox, what storage group and database it belongs in. But in this case, we don't have to worry about that. We have the alias and the external email address. We click edit and we can type in the address. And that's pretty much it. Now you notice this is an SMTP address, but if you look to the right of the edit button, there's a drop down arrow we can create a custom address and this would allow for X400, GroupWise, Lotus Notes, any other type of address that you'd like to include here. You can include that right within the custom address dialog box. In this case, we're going to stick with the SMTP Gmail account that we have. We'll click next. We can check out the configuration summary, make sure everything is correct and click new. Once it's complete, we click finish and again a different icon for the new mail user. If we go to Active Directory Users and Computers, here we can see new mail user and it's listed as a user because it has a logon. If we double click that, you can see this is a standard user account. The difference is instead of getting a mailbox here on the server, they have an external address. So we hope you found that informative and we'll see you in the next lesson.